Hello everyone! For this video, I'm going to work on some delicious breakfast pastries. My goal is to create my take on a cinnamon roll and a sticky buns by making them look like tropeziennes, which is a specialty from Saint-Tropez. It's actually very dear to me, as it is located 30 minutes away from where I was born in the south of France. This should be the perfect fusion between my French heritage and my love for American classics. I begin by making two different laminated dough. For the first one, I'm adding pecan powder in the flour, and for the second one, I am flavoring the butter with cinnamon and vanilla powder. Once the butter has been casted and has hardened, I can begin the lamination process by folding dough and butter on top of each other until I obtain the right amount of layers. In addition, I'm adding an extra layer of laminated dough on top of the first one, which will give an extra crunchiness and a perfect striped look on the side. Look how gorgeous all those layers look. Then, once I've laminated the dough to the right height, I begin rolling it into a puck. I then place it inside a circle, ready for the proofing process. After a few hours, the dough is ready to be baked. When it comes out of the oven, I'm sifting a vanilla caramel powder on top in order to add a crunchy texture and the perfect shine. Look how beautiful it is on the inside. Then, we can start preparing all the elements that will go inside. For the sticky bun, I'm starting by adding a caramel diplomat cream and a homemade praline pecan, which will bring crunchiness and add a strong flavor. I've always loved making praline. I pipe a generous amount on top of the cream, which should ooze once we cut through the pastry. I add more layer of the caramel cream on top in order to trap the praline in. Then, once our sticky bun is closed up, I begin the making of a delicious vanilla caramel that will be piped in a circular motion on top of our pastry. This gives a modern look on the classic style of a sticky bun. To top it all off, I'm adding a generous amount of caramelized chopped pecan. And finally, to perfect the look, I'm adding a little bit of genuine 18 karat gold flakes. Here is the final result. It's time to cut into it. Look at the praline oozing out. Definitely delicious. Now, it's time to focus on building the cinnamon roll. I begin by soaking the base with the cinnamon syrup, then add a layer of the cream cheese vanilla cream. It was very important to me to reinforce the taste of the cinnamon, so I thought of adding a layer of a moist cinnamon almond cream. Once the sponge has been placed in, I trap it on the inside by piping more cream around it, and I can add the top back on. I've decided to do a similar finish so we can compare both creations fairly. Once the spiral of cream has been piped on top, I'm sprinkling some crushed speculoos. And of course, to upscale it, I'm finishing it with the gold flakes. And this is the final look. The inside is really gorgeous and the taste spot on. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would like to try.